The planning of a wedding can be one of the most stressful things you will ever have to do. It is very important that you plan well and make sure everything goes according to plan so that your big day will be perfect. The best way to do this is to make sure you have a great relationship with your planner. You should also make sure you choose a planner who has experience in planning weddings and knows how to make them stress-free. This is the most important part of the process because it will determine how much stress you are going to have on your special day. You should first decide if you want to have a traditional or non-traditional wedding. If you decide to go for a traditional wedding then you need to make sure you choose a venue that is traditional as well. There are some great venues that are both traditional and modern. You may want to look at an old country home around historic mansion. These types of places are often very romantic and are the perfect place to get married. If you decide to go for a non-traditional wedding you will need to make sure you choose an outside location. You can also choose a location that is a little more private. You can go to a park a vineyard, or even a beach. These locations can be romantic and relaxing for the two of you. Once you have decided on the type of wedding you want, you will need to decide on the date. It is important that you choose a date that is available for all of you. This way you will be able to have your whole family and friends there. You will also need to make sure you choose the time of year that is best for you. For example, if you live in California you may want to plan a winter wedding because you can have snow falling on your special day. Make sure you find out what type of flowers you want for your wedding. If you are having a traditional wedding then you may want to choose a flower that is symbolic of love such as roses daisies, or lilies. If you are having a non-traditional wedding you may want to choose flowers that are more modern. For example, you could choose something like a white rose bush. You will need to talk to your florist about what you want. After you have chosen the flowers you will need to choose your caterer. You will need to make sure they are experienced in catering weddings. They should also be able to provide you with a menu that is customized to fit your tastes. You will also need to choose a photographer and a DJ. The next step is to choose a cake maker. You will need to make the cake yourself if you want to save money. Make sure you choose a cake maker that is local and who can provide you with samples of their work. This will help you to decide if you want to use them on your big day. The next thing to do is to choose a wedding dress designer. They should also be able to provide you with a sample of their work. You will need to choose someone who will create the perfect dress for you. Make sure you choose a dress designer who is local and who will provide samples of their work. After you have done all of these things you will be ready to begin the process of getting ready for your wedding. It is important that you take care of your hair and makeup before your wedding. This will ensure that you look beautiful on your big day. Thanks for watching. The end.